All right, hello, welcome to the three days before Christmas here. Today is Monday, December 21st. You can see we are going to do the last day of 6.2 today uh, about rationalize the denominator. So there'll be a lesson and a homework as always. Then tomorrow we're going to review and quiz on 6.1 to 6.2. And then we have this kind of random topic that we kind of fit in whenever it makes sense. And so we're going to do this thing called matrices and do some ACT practice uh, for our last day. I did want to mention one other quick announcement for you this week. Um, I just looking at the last test, section five, five to five, nine, that test, when I was looking through some people's work, it seemed like they were doing this crazy method of solving some crazy factoring that we never learned in class. Uh, it looked like uh, we did them in class with synthetic division. So when I see this as a teacher, I, I just get concerned because my gut is that students are just copying those from uh, a app or a website that just gives them the answers with the work um, like photo math or something like that and I you know like I it's hard for me to know what kids are doing at home you know uh, and it's hard for me to just to come out and say hey people are cheating I don't really know if that's true or not but I feel like if people are copying answers and not really doing the work not watching the videos uh, I just find it concerning because I think long term it's it's a really bad strategy the math in this class is foundational for whatever math you do next, whether that's in college or as a senior next year. And so ultimately, um, I just want to encourage you to make good decisions. And, and if you're confused and struggling with this, uh, the better option is to reach out for help. Come on Google Meet with me, attend the live classes, basically make the good decisions, right? That is going to set you up for success in the future. You know, whether or not, you know, you pass this class or whatever grade you get, you know, I feel like long term, um, just cheating your way through Algebra 2 is, is not going to help. So again, I, I can't know for sure what kids are doing at home, but if you are struggling with this, to me, the right answer is not to cheat. Reach out to me, a classmate, a friend, a parent, uh, but learn the material, put in the work, do the time, it'll, it'll pay dividends down the road. And ultimately, that's the whole point, right? If we're just going to cheat our way through um, this class and maybe even other classes, you know, the, you're just kind of throwing away your education. And uh, as, you, as your teacher, I feel like I want to say, make good decisions. I, I want to encourage you to do your best, be successful. Um, and that, that takes to do the hard work, right? It is work and it is time, but ultimately I, I think you just got to trust when adults tell you that it'll be worth it down the road. I know personally from my own life, uh, I was able to get most of my college paid for because I had good grades and I worked hard in high school and, uh, ultimately job wise too. I've had no problem finding jobs. Um, I've been able to get good employment, make decent money. And I think a lot of that is because I was lucky enough to go to a good school. Um, and then I, I took that opportunity and, and worked hard. Um, so I want to encourage you to do the same. Uh, if you have any questions or issues, just reach out to me. Um, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help you and, and do your best. And so I want you to encourage you to put in the time, do the work. That's it. Have a good day.